Hi, hello everybody. Um, how are you doing today? My name is Mr. Max. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here. So now that we have defeated what is quite possibly the hardest boss in the game, it is time for us to move on with our lives and go into the village of the damned or whatever it's called. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, seriously, thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. You're amazing. All right, everybody. It's time we it's time we sat and had a talk. As you'll see, Mister Brontosaurus, I I think we had to put Hammer Time down. Now I'm not gonna say that what happened last time was a result of Hammer Time, but I'm also not saying that. And I just wanted to play with a new toy, I'm not going to lie. So, this is what we're looking like now. We're going to try out the Golden Halberd. I upgraded it to a plus four. We have a 445 on its damage over there. Compared to uh, 277, I think we had on uh, the Brick Buster there. Now, the part that makes me very sad, though, is that we cannot change the Ashes of War on this, it seems. Therefore, we will be using Golden Vow. Our armor took a little bit of a change-up. Everything else has stayed pretty much the same. Stats. 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 That's what we're looking at. And there's our beautiful boy. And look at that. Look at that. Beautiful golden halberd. Right there. For today, we are going to attempt to go up this little ramp here. And then it wraps around and ends in one of the churches that's up here. If I remember right. And it is not the most pleasant or inviting area. Kinda like Gary, Indiana. But we're gonna do the best we can with what we got and hope for the best. Like anyone that's from Gary, Indiana. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. The catapult guy. Clearly from Indiana. Jesus. Okay, that is not a healing potion. That's a healing potion. This is terrible. Y'all ever hear of a little saying that says, talk shit, get hit? I just found out. I just found out. There's the trebuchets. I don't remember if there's anything worth getting down there in those camps or not. We're going to go. What about the ROUSs? Oh, fuck, yeah, I remember this part. This part sucks. Come, come, come. You have... Okay, so... We have the Eye of Sauron up here. And that's where we're gonna be headed. But if it can see you, your madness level goes up very quickly. And it hits you for a lot of damage. I think we're safe here.
I'm... I am somewhat terrified. Because I don't remember at what point... We do and do not get hit by this. I'm assuming if it can see... Like, the same, same rules apply. If it can see us... From here, I think we're fucked. Yeah. What is this? Owl of Shiviri. Alright, so there's guys up there, and if I remember right, we have to kill all of them. But here we go. We're gonna let that run down. Oh, God damn it. Nothing, you didn't see anything. This is a whole new way to praise the sun. Alright, are we done? I think we're done. Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. Alright, so you have to knock this, this tower out. In order to... I don't know that you have to do it in order to progress, but to make this area much less stressful and much more manageable, you'll want to do that. And there's a bunch of items that are down here in the field that you can go get now, and we're going to go pick those up. So as we get into this portion of the game, pretty much from Lierna forward, we're going to be getting into areas that I've only ever been to once or twice, because when I 100%ed the game, I did most of that on one playthrough. And then the achievements that involved going through the game multiple times... I had a set path, and I would only hit the things that were required to get those. To get, like, all of the endings and some of the weird spells that are in strange locations and stuff like that. So, we're going to get into stuff that I have not done very often. And I'm going to say that this whole area up here, maybe once or twice, is all I've ever done it. So let's go explore and see what happens. I am enjoying the dam- oh, hi. I'm enjoying the damage that this halberd is doing. But I'm not like, oh my god, I'm in love with it. But like this is a this is a nice solid rebound chick from you know the love affair that we had with the big heavy brick house hammer. Um, gonna think about that hammer a lot. It's gonna be hard to get over it. You know sometimes they say that when you found the one, you don't realize it until after it's gone. Baby, come back! Oh, what the fuck are you guys? You looked way more intimidating than you actually were. Much like myself. Shh. 
Shabiri's Woe. I have worked at a lot of restaurants. I have pretty much my entire life I have been a restaurant worker. I enjoy the work. Um, I had a had so many people that were like, I was so intimidated by you when I first started. You were you were you scared me. I was like, why is that? And they go, I don't know. Now that I've gotten to know you, you're hilarious and you're just a big idiot. And I'm like, well, thanks. But yeah, you're right. Okay, what are we doing up here? There's a church up here somewhere. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Fingerprint bike. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? Whoa! Whoa! All right, come here. I want to show you my... Uh, no. Ah, uh, you dick. Oh, no, it's empty. What do we do? I re oh, wait. I remember this guy. He's got a... Uh... That. I really like that spear. That's a good one. We might have to go play with that for a little bit. Alright, so what's going on in here? Are you a good church or a bad church? Finger Maiden Filet? Take my medium rare, please. Look, we're beautiful. Every girl deserves to go to a ball. Those. Look at this. <laughs> Why is he wearing them so high waisted? That's. There you go. That says, uh, that says Beach Day City Guard is what that is right there. Okay, we're missing one more thing up here, it seems. Alright, I hate that those little prompts don't just like go away but they also prevent you from doing anything okay we did it hey little flower guy what's going on all right so there is that's the lift and that takes us up on top of the plateau there i just like to it's so cool looking. Hi, hey, girl. There are special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Yeah, she's definitely addicted at this point. Oh. And then she just explodes. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. How sweet. Yet. How it burns. <laughs> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Because she got her fix. Let's remember, kids, don't do drugs. 
don't do all, don't do all drugs. Uh, can I even say that? Like, even in a facetious sense, I feel like I shouldn't say, don't do drugs. Don't do, that's, no, drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Is that how I get to end the video, I guess, with a, we're gonna try it again. And remember, kids, don't, don't do drugs. Don't eat, uh, drug-like grapes that let you see prophecies, either. Those are bad as well. This is awkward. Bye.